Um, that I will do every day is arpeggios or scales, it can change, that descend in, into the low register. So right from the first note, I'm thinking about breathing, pushing air through the instrument and going into the low register. This is just G major. Now, on the low note, um, when you run out of A, keep going. Get one more squeeze. They go, and these become very strong. So, there. The A is the most important with all brass playing. 98% of brass playing is all about wind. And then into the pedal register. So now we have C, we all know pedal C. The embouchure is the same uh, placement for low notes and high notes. As you go lower, the embouchure relaxes, the jaw drops, uh, the cheeks may puff out in the pedals, this is okay, but the, the placement is the same. So there we have B. And always another push, keep pushing. Uh, B flat, A, A flat, and go down and down and down. When we get to F again, we have... So again, this is not on the instrument, but I, I will practice this. So the first thing every day, making sure that A is moving all the time, I go as low as I can, stop, have a rest, come back, and then I go as high as I can, not keep playing high notes, this is bad. I start with pedal C. I go up and up and up and up, and stop. So hopefully, at the start of every day, I will have trained myself to be able to play six octaves from double pedal C, up to double high C. I don't perform those notes because they don't sound very good. But if you keep trying, people can play above this. <coughs> if you keep pushing up, you keep pushing low, you are um, expanding your range and practicing to the extremes. So the second part is where I practice flexibility. So in a flexibility, this is very, very important. How do you change pitch on a brass instrument? It's, it's, it's not a straightforward question. If you take um, a violin, as the finger comes up the fret, the, the string gets smaller, the vibration becomes higher because the string is smaller. This is the same as guitar. We know. Now, we take just a piece of pipe, because that's all these are, it's just a posh pieces of pipe. So just one straight piece of metal. How do we move from C to G. People say uh, you have to tighten, tighten your lips. Well, of course, if I play a C and tighten my lips, what will happen? I didn't go up. Other people may say to go uphill, you need to blow more. Well, of course, if you just blow more, you crescendo. In fact, if all you had to do was blow more, to go uphill, how could you sustain a crescendo without changing pitch? It can't just be blow more, because blow more is dynamics. So the answer is in the tongue. So can you all say, oh, say, oh, oh, oh. oh. that's beautiful, oh, yes. <laughs> You'll see the tip of the tongue, the very front, is down behind the low teeth, but the centre, the middle part of tongue, is very low in the mouth. Oh. Say it again. Oh. 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 You, you feel. Now say oh. E. 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 The tip is, is similar, still down behind bottom teeth. But the centre part of the tongue moves from O to E. And now it's high. Say it again. E. E. Good. Now, I want you to say E. But lock the tongue. 
keep the tongue stiff and try and say or. Oh. So E, lock the tongue and try to say or. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's impossible. <laughs> impossible. So, can anybody whistle? <laughs> or, how how do we whistle? How do we change pitch? Well, yeah, we never think. How do we whistle? Mm. It's not important, but when we think about it, my embouchure doesn't mm. change pitch. My lips don't tighten or just. So the tongue is in a different position for every note. Every note you whistle, I can't tell you where. But through practice, you can feel it. So therefore, a low note on, the, on, a, on, a, on a brass instrument, the tongue is very low. On a high note, the tongue needs to move higher. If this is my tongue, I go... Of course, if you just move the tongue, nothing might happen. It's like an aeroplane flying in the sky. If that aeroplane is going to climb, the pilot does two things. First thing, he changes the plane to this, but if that's all he does, the plane will hit resistance, slow down, crash, problems. So he, he pulls back, and then he, ex he gives it power, he accelerates, give it gas, and he will climb. So for us, when the centre part of the tongue moves from O to E, and inside the mouth, as that tongue moves up, the cavity gets smaller. So as the tongue moves up, you blow more, you push the air through, the air moves faster. Now with faster air, that will tell the lip how to vibrate. Through many repetitions, I then feel where the tongue is for those notes. It feels good. I have an understanding now of how to change pitch. Because that is the hardest thing to do, I think, on a brass instrument, is to change pitch. Two big things to remember. One, the air does the work. And two, the tongue does the pitch. Now with those two things in mind, you can readily understand how to play all complex things in brass playing. Because those two things is the most important for everything. Then, after that, I will do, because I mentioned about posture earlier, um, the left hand holds the instrument, the right hand, all the right hand does is three fingers. That's it. The brain understands just three fingers. So again, like I've mentioned hymn tunes, you play two bars, you may want to breathe. Try practicing three bars, then try practicing four bars. Try to go further and further all the time. We don't need to breathe so often. So with the clap technical studies, I can practice my breath control, playing a long phrase. I can also practice the fingers as well. start slowly, so I should have said that. I'm playing very fast now. You don't start that fast. Something like that, so not too soft, good fingers, and then once you know the exercise a bit better, you can practice for speed. Practice all the keys, practice right up, right up to the, the top notes. So I, I practice this for, 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 for a session, and then the next session could be your, your, your articulations, we were just talking about the tongue work in different ways, you can practice your double tongue in and your, and your, your triple tongue in. If you think in double tongue in, 50% of the tongue is k, is the back of the tongue. 50%. So, so it would make sense if someone is struggling with a double tongue, it's probably the back of the tongue and it becomes very neglected. So I would suggest practicing just k, over and over, maybe just one note, to try and get a good clear articulation. You know this one? Yeah. It's all with ka 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 ka. So when this articulation becomes good or better, you are ready to practice double tonguing. So when you do double tonguing, this is double tonguing. fast. It's very slow. But it's correct. It's clearly front, back, front, back. I can feel it. It's very, very important to get clarity first. Speed is easy if clarity is, is perfect.
I don't think about taka 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 because if, if in my training, my practice, so slowly taka taka, it forms a habit. I don't know that in French. Do you understand a habit? Yeah. So when we come to perform, we don't think about all these technical a eh, tongue artic taka taka. No, we 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 think about a eh, and music, nothing else. The habits we create in our practice take over in performance. That's the beauty of it. So then, and then quickly triple tonguing. Of course, it's two, two at the front and one at the back. Ta, ta, ka. There's three notes in a triplet. We have ta, ta, ka. Now, the weakest one of those is going to be number three, ka. So, what I do, slowly, always slowly, is turn the triplet almost upside down. And I put the accent on the ka. So I do ta, ta. So ta ta ka ta ta ka ta very slowly, but you form a habit, a good habit of not backing off with the ear. The ear does not do less, the ear does more. Now when you want to triple turn faster, uh, speed becomes easy because it's correct slowly. So when you go slower little by little, you can drop the accent. And without the accent, you should have three equal notes. So triple tongue in, when you go fast, you just think about the music and the air. The triple tongue then will work for you. The tongue works by habit. So through your practice, like you practice the pedal notes, you practice the high notes, you practice all the, 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 the tongue in slowly, the slur, oh, ee, oh, ee, slowly, you train habits. So those habits take over in performance. So you can just think about the music that you want to play. I think the problem with double and triple tongue is people quit blowing. You've got to keep that air moving all the time. Thank <laughs> you.